Alabama Outdoorsman. Just got my shipment in from my sponsor at Bass Munitions. Uh, well, actually, I just didn't get it in. I got it in yesterday and made a video on it. But the camera fogged up, so I'm having to redo it. So when you're looking at these, all of the bags are already open other than one of each thing. Or one of each type so that I could show you the what it looks like, but all the other ones are open. So let's get into this. He makes all of these himself, so I'm going to go into the jigs first before everything. Alright, so this is what the jigs come into. He hand ties all of these, hand paints them, everything. It's a 3 8 and green pumpkin. I'll go ahead and read the back to you. It says, if you're looking for the best custom hand-tied jig, look no further. At Bass Munitions, we arm you with jigs that are tour tournament uh, proven. Try us and get hooked up. Tight lines and God bless from Team Bass Munitions. So, like I said, this is 3 8 and green pumpkin. This is the flipping type. He has uh, football and feather jigs also. Alright, so actually I'll go ahead and open well no I won't. But um then we have this one in Alabama Crawl. Go ahead and show you they all have trocar hooks on them, which is made by Eagle Claw. And then it has the corkscrew uh stop on it, so you just slide it up there onto the corkscrew and it's gonna hold your bait on there, keep the trailer from popping off. Nice flat head, he hand paints these, and then it's got an automotive, like a uh, laminate or whatever it's called on it, clear coat. So it's not, the paint's not coming off. It's going to stay looking good like this. Alright. Good looking skirt on it. Looks like it's going to hold up really, really well. Alright, and this may be my favorite one. It, it's going to get a lot of attention on the water. It's called Lightning Bug. It's got the black head on it, and then it's got black and green skirt, and then uh, lime green and orange lines to it. As you can see. So that looks really, really good. Alright, and the next one is the Gunnersville Special, I think. Which it's like a black head. And then green pumpkin lines and blue lines. And it's got like blue sparkle in it. All of them have the black weed guard. Alright. So these are really good jigs. He, he makes them all himself. Alright. So now I'm going to go ahead and get into the... The soft plastics he sent me. I mean, as you can see, this box is loaded down with stuff. So I'm gonna go over the. Uh, this is what it will come looking like. It's got the uh, his logo on the front, and then on the back it says, "At Bass Munitions, our uh, our soft baits are hand poured with our custom rocket fuel scent." Every lure which is designed and crafted by our staff to bring you the angler the best in custom baits. We make tournament quality lures that even the blue collar angler can afford. Remember when you want them on the other end of the line, arm yourself with Bass Munitions custom fishing lures, tight lines, and God bless from Team Bass Munitions. So this is like a centipede and it's in black. I'm going to open the other packs. I got three more packs of them alright so that's one and I got it in watermelon red flake maybe it'll open alright there we go alright nice color nice appendages it's going to create a lot of just little ripples especially if there's current those are just going to keep moving and vibrating. Got nice little lines all the way down it. Nice stretch to it. Soft plastic. It's pretty soft. It's really nice. Alright. So that is in the watermelon red plate. 
Then we got it in green pumpkin. I'm going to go ahead and just open up everything just so you can see all of them. It's going to be a pretty long video since there's just so much in the box. Alright. And I think that is all of these. So I got three different ones. So I'll go ahead and set these to the side. The next is I got a pack of the lizards. These all have, uh, I guess it's called the rocket scent in them, infused in them. So it's going to stay with it. Nice little brown with uh, green on the bottom. Perfect for spring. A little curly tail on it. I think this is uh, six inch, maybe. That's what he said. I can't really remember. Alright, so I got one bag of the lizards. The next is probably one of my favorite things to fish with, it, which is Senkos. And I gotta say, I really love these Senkos. Uh, this one's in green pumpkin. And this one's in just black. And these seem like they're gonna do spot on. I mean, you could just tell by holding the middle how much of a, uh, how much bin they already have in them. Really stretchy, really soft, so it's gonna have a lot of action. They may tear a little easier than some, but I really don't think they're going to. I'll do a, uh, another review on them once I start using them. Start putting some videos up with all these. But I mean, honestly, they're really, really good made. And then the green pumpkin, which is the same as the uh, centipedes. And they all come straight, as you notice. This one I had already opened in the other video, so they all fell down. But this this is really good. Some companies will just jam them all in the bottom. But they come nice and straight up, so they're not bent. And they don't come to you. Because once they're bent, they don't, have, they don't have the good action anymore. Then these got a couple packs of the mud bug. three packs there may be another pack in there but this is the mud bug it's a crawl and it's a crawl with little legs on it. it has six little legs with feet this is in black and blue nice small little pinchers it'd be better for uh for like skipping docks or something or just rigging on its own since it's got the nice little legs on it moving around uh, Alright, so this is the black and blue. And my, uh, let me here, I'll put it with the jig, show you how it's a good size for it. One second. Alright, as you can see, it's going to be a good size for the jig itself. Coming down just a little bit below the skirt. All right. So I think these are actually fit perfectly on these 3 8 jigs. Alright, so that's black and blue. This is watermelon red. See the see they also have ribs all the way around it to create even more commotion in the water. Uh, small ribs on the head part and then thick uh, beefy ribs on the bottom. Still got a lot of stretch to it. The uh, Legs have a lot of stretch. They're going to be a really durable bait. You'll be able to catch definitely more than one fish off of each one of these. And then this one's just a uh, uh, water, or not watermelon, but green pumpkin. Right. Next, we are getting into the crawl. So I got. Uh, oh. I got two colors in curl. This is uh, green pumpkin and black and blue. Show you one of these. Black and blue. All right. So these ones have a lot beefier claws on them, as you can see. 
no uh, no legs on the sides. This would be more of, as a trailer. In my opinion, it'd be a lot better of a trailer. You could also rig it up, you know, Texas on Texas Carolina. But uh, the outside of the claw is really thick, and then it narrows down on the inside. It's got little small antennas on it. I don't know how these float yet. Again, I'll make a follow-up video on it. But so far, I mean, these are really stretchy. The appendages, even though they're really thin on the back, hold on really good. I've been messing around with these, and they I haven't been able to break one yet. Or I mean, I could, but what I've been doing hadn't broken it yet. So, I think, and uh, like I said, uh, green pumpkin. Alright, the next I have the split tail, which is their creature bait, uh, like beaver style. And I have four of these, so as you can see again, they line it up perfect, so the appendages aren't all crooked and stuff. So I'm not going to open this one because I don't want to get them all crooked. Black and blue. Oh, uh, this is like an ox blood, maybe? It's like a brownish red with black flakes in it. Again, I don't know the name. Then we have watermelon red and green pumpkin. I'll open up one of these to show you. It's a nice smaller style, uh, like pitching and flipping. Four nice appendages is gonna gonna move a lot in the water. Nice little ribs all the way down it. The texture is perfect on them. It's not too soft and it's definitely not hard at all. So it's going to have a lot of uh, movement, as you can see. Nice little small ones. Some of these companies are coming out with really big ones. And uh, in my opinion, I like the smaller ones a little better. Even sometimes if, the, if they've had a lot of pressure on them, they're going to want smaller things anyway. Like heat of the summer, they're going to want something a little smaller. But uh, next is the swim baits, which is probably the best category, in my opinion, of their stuff. Uh, I'll just go ahead and go over the colors. This one's uh, a uh, blue and green. One of his best sellers. I mean, I can see this working really good. Like, you fall, you know how dirty the water is. But, uh,. This will definitely catch a fish's attention, and also, as you can see, they're all lined up perfectly. So, they're going to come out straight. You don't have to boil them down to get them straight again. Then we got the Smoky. I don't know what the name of it is, but it's uh, gray on top and like a pearl clear on the bottom. Again, straight, perfect. Then we have like a uh, an Arctic, maybe. Honestly, don't know the name. It's a white with a uh, white glitter in it, so it's definitely gonna have a pop in uh, maybe a pearl. Yeah, this is gonna be a pearl, but uh, it's gonna have a nice pop in dirty water, especially if it's sunny out. You're gonna have a lot of glitter sparkling everywhere. Then you have just the plain white. Again, all of them are straight. All of them are nice presentation. And the last one's like a baby bass. I'll go ahead and open this one. Um, really, really nice. Uh, nice ridging on the side, perfect texture, nice and soft. And as you can see, it's going to have a lot of action when you hold it over on the side like that and it just bends straight over. It's going to have a lot of action. It's not too soft either, so it's not going to rip every time you get one on. But, uh, you can either rig this up on a big trailer if they want a big, big presentation. This is a 5 inch. He is making 3 inches now, or is going to be making 3 inches also. But uh, I'll post a picture right here. One of their other pro staff has been catching some monsters when he came down to Eufaula. So I'll post a picture of that in the video right now. But it was on the same one. Alright. 
And then I got one big decal on my truck for my truck. This definitely will be going on my truck. It'll be going by uh, my other uh, sponsors like Fish Hog and Kistler. I'll be putting their stickers on the back of my truck too. But uh, this one looks really good. All right. And then I got three small stickers. So if you want to contact them and order some of their stuff, there's their phone number. And then also if you want to find them on Facebook, it's Bass Munitions Custom Fishing LLC, which will also be on my uh, description. It'll be in my description. And I got pictures of the stuff up on my Instagram at Alabama Outdoorsman. So go check them out. Go order their stuff. It's really, really good quality stuff, and it's an amazing company. He will respond right away. Uh, really good customer service. I'd rate this 10 out of 10 just for how fast he got back with me, honestly, and how uh, how good these are made, the detail he puts on them. A lot of these custom uh, lure companies, they say they make the best, and honestly, he follows up with what he says. This This is some of the best you will get. Thanks for watching the video. Go check them out. And have a good day.